Cherry shrimp make fun and fascinating pets that look amazing, especially in a planted aquarium. Many aquarists need help because it is very challenging to find tank mates for these tiny, super popular, colorful creatures. Yes, that is true. It seems like just about every fish out there wants to eat these peaceful inverts. Well, I understand your concern, so I've put together this list of 12 excellent and safe cherry shrimp tank mates. I'll also run you through their primary care needs so you can start your cherry shrimp community tank confidently. Hello friends and welcome back to Aquarium Store Depot. In this episode we will discuss fish species that get along well with cherry shrimp. We'll go over a few species that won't harm them and go over their care so you can select compatible tank mates for your cherry shrimp. If that sounds interesting, well, stay tuned and share your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe. Cherry shrimp are tiny, delicate creatures that are pretty much at the bottom of the aquarium food chain. The foundation of any good cherry shrimp community tank is providing the perfect conditions for your shrimp to thrive and even breed. That's why it is essential to know some factors before going to the list of tank mates. We'll cover some fantastic fish species later in this video. But let's start by going over the thought process for choosing great tank mates. Keeping cherry shrimp with just about any fish is risky. A lot depends on the fish's personality and your tank's layout. Here are some essential factors to consider. The first one is the size of your tank. There is a straightforward guideline that all seasoned fish keepers are aware of. Never mix little fish with anything large enough to eat them whole. Dwarf shrimp are susceptible to the same law, although it's not always that straightforward. Cherry shrimp that are young and are sensitive to practically all aquarium fish. Little fish don't consume the shrimp whole but do significant harm because some of them will simply pick at them. The best option is to choose little tank mates with tiny jaws. And the second factor is temperament. Some fish are more aggressive than others. Silver tip tetras, for example, tend to be very nippy fish, and they can pick at your shrimp even if they aren't going to eat them. Bettas and gouramis can also be aggressive towards shrimp in the same way. These are some factors that you should know before introducing any fish to your cherry shrimp tank. And to learn more, you can also visit our official blog, where we go in more detail about these three factors. You now have a better understanding of the fundamentals of setting up and maintaining a cherry shrimp aquarium. I'm sure you can't wait to find them some friends. So let's dive into the list of the most compatible cherry shrimp tank mates. So the first tank mate on my list to keep with your shrimp is going to be the Amano shrimp. Have you ever thought about keeping other shrimp species with your cherry shrimp? Amano shrimp are a great choice because they are super peaceful and do great in similar water parameters. Amano shrimp are algae eaters, which means they need a well-established tank to stay fed. Adding these guys a few months after setting up the tank is best. Amano shrimp are not the only species you can keep with your cherry shrimp. Ghost shrimp and vampire shrimp are also great options. Just be sure to avoid crystal shrimp because they prefer different water conditions. After a mono shrimp, let's learn about our next shrimp tank mate, the Thai micro crabs. A relatively recent addition to the aquarium hobby, Thai micro crabs are quickly gaining popularity. They are appreciated among shrimp keepers for their very peaceful nature and similar requirements, which make them a great option if you're looking for tank mates for your dwarf shrimp. Thai micro crabs are tiny and shy but you'll be happy to watch these little whitish or bluish crabs hanging out in your freshwater aquarium. Let's talk about the next tank companion on this list, which are aquarium snails. Almost all freshwater snails go great with shrimp. Snails are great for eating algae and keeping your tank clean too, and they're straightforward to maintain. Choose your snail species carefully though, some aquarium snails breed out of control. You may watch the Snails to Avoid video on our channel to learn more about the snail species that are the worst for aquariums. I'll also include links to it in the description and under the I button so you can learn more about which snails are best and which snails are worst for your aquariums. 
For cherry shrimps, I recommend Nearite snails because they look amazing and can't breed in your cherry shrimp tank. After aquarium snails, now let's learn about our first fish in this list, which is the Autosynclus catfish. Autosynclus catfish are the safest fish species to keep with cherry shrimp. These nano sucker fish are specialized algae eaters, so they're perfectly safe even with baby cherry shrimp. These fish do a fantastic job of keeping aquariums clean too. Just make sure to add them to mature aquariums so they'll have enough food to eat. In my experience, Autosynclus is the only fish in a community tank that is absolutely safe to keep with shrimp. They are not interested in eating shrimp, they will never attack or harass even baby shrimp. Let's talk about the Neon Tetris, the next fish in our list. Yes, shrimp and Neon Tetris can live in the same tank, making a great combo. First, they share similar water requirements, saving you the trouble of any adjustment. More importantly, they share similar temperaments, decreasing the chances of some of your shrimp becoming a snack to them. Neon Tetris are very peaceful fish with tiny mouths. These nanofish are a safe bet with adult cherry shrimp. But they will eat baby shrimp if they get the chance, so make sure you provide plenty of cover like java moss and rock structures. These brightly colored fish look great together with other varieties of freshwater shrimp too. After Neon Tetris, now let's talk about our next fish in this list, which is Ember Tetra. Yes, Ember Tetris and shrimp can live together. This can be one of the most compatible pairings. The Ember Tetra is a tiny fish that can make a great tank mate with cherry shrimp. Their bright colors match perfectly with fire red cherry shrimp and other red breeds like the Sakura cherry shrimp. These fish are super peaceful, so they will get along with any other tank mates of a similar size. Ember Tetras like Nia Tetras are schooling fish, so pick up a group of at least six. Now let's move to our next tank mate of cherry shrimp, which is Chili Rasbora. Chili Rasboras are awesome nanofish that can live peacefully with cherry shrimp. They are beautiful little red fish with significant black markings. These schooling fish are genuinely tiny, so they pose no threat to your adult cherry shrimp. Chili Rasboras prefer slightly acidic water, so they're going to work best if your pH is between 6.5 and 7. Keep a group of six or more of these fish in a heavily planted tank for an awesome nano aquarium. Now, after Chili Rasboras, let's learn about our next fish, which is the Corydoras catfish. Corydoras catfish are another great tank mate for cherry shrimp. The safest quarry catfish will be the pygmy quarry and dwarf quarry. These tiny fish are always bottom dwellers, like the larger species, and tend to hang out in the mid water column. Just be sure to buy a group of them so they can swim together. Now let's learn about our next fish on this list, which is Endler's Live Bearers. Endler's Live Bearers are similar to guppies, but don't grow as large. These excellent colorful fish are very easy to care for, and they won't bother adult shrimp. Endler's Live Bearers breed quickly if you keep males and females in the same tank, but be ready to find homes for lots of baby fish. The males are smaller and more colorful than the females, Though you could only keep males if you want to avoid breeding. They will be pretty territorial, so keep a big group of six or more to spread out any conflict. After Endler's Live Bearers, now let's talk about our next fish on this list, which is the Pencil Fish. Pencil Fish can also make great tank mates for Cherry Shrimp. These interesting schooling fish from South America have tiny mouths and swim towards the tank surface, keeping them out of contact with your Cherry Shrimp. There are many excellent pencil fish species in the aquarium hobby. Beckford's pencil fish is a great option because they are easy to find and care for. Let's move to our next fish in this list, which is the clown killifish. What are the most attractive fish you can buy? Clown killifish make attractive tank mates for cherry shrimp. These tiny fish hang out at the top of the tank while the cherry shrimp are foraging at the bottom of the tank, so they usually stay out of each other's way. Clown killifish are predators, so they will feed on baby shrimp. Keeping these tank mates together would be safest in a heavily planted tank with lots of cover. You should always have a solid backup plan, especially if you keep higher graded shrimp. After the clown killifish, now let's move on to our next and last fish, which is the coolie loach. 
Cooley loaches are one of my favorite nano bottom dwellers. These strange fish have beautiful markings, and they're peaceful too. They do a great job cleaning up leftover food at the bottom of the tank, but they are pretty shy during the daytime, so they are not the best display fish. Since they are omnivorous, the Cully loach will generally eat all kinds of small life, and frozen and meat-based foods are relished the most. I would say that the cherries wouldn't be very happy with Cully in the tank as they might end up on the menu. It is quite risky to add them, and the other fish on this list are better options. They will generally do well with cherry shrimp, just be aware if you prefer to keep the more expensive varieties of shrimp. Putting together a shrimp-safe community aquarium can be pretty nerve-wracking, but by choosing one or more of the awesome tank mates on this list, you should have very little to worry about. Remember to have a backup plan if anything goes wrong, and consider growing some delicate plants like java moss or Christmas moss to give the baby shrimp a safe place to hide. Now you may ask, where to buy tank mates for cherry shrimp? And the simple answer is, most of the tank mates listed in this video can be found by visiting your local fish store. However, some less common species like Thai micro crabs will be much easier to find online. I will add online store links in the description so you can buy cherry shrimp tank mates easily. Our partner, Flip Aquatics, actually offers a bunch of freshwater shrimp and several nano fish varieties. They quarantine all their livestock. If you like this video, please tell us about your favorite tank mates in the comments below. And if you want to support us, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby. This encourages us to produce more excellent videos like this one to help fish keepers at all levels. If you have any queries or problems related to the aquarium hobby, join our Facebook and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. I am sure you will also find your solution if you face any fish keeping issues. Thanks for watching the video.